Hi everyone, Debbie here. Welcome back to my channel. I have a little haul for you today. So I'm doing it desktop for the light more than anything else. It's really overcast again. I'm on the East Coast. We've done, we've been having snowstorms and I'm not going to complain where I am because all together we've had maybe this much snow, like not much. We've been able to, to shovel out and we've got a guy that comes and plows our driveway. So we're a-okay. But my friends that are just in Nova Scotia and Prince Edward Island have been dumped on by snow, absolutely dumped on by snow. You've probably been seeing the videos coming out of the northern part of Nova Scotia where they got over a hundred centimeters of snow and heavy, heavy winds that had drifted it up against houses enough to, you know, lock people in their houses. They have to dig out of their house just to get outside. So everybody, please send a prayer out for their safety. I know there's not a lot of emergency services available to you if you can't even get in and out of your house. Um, yeah, so let's just, let's just pray for everyone out in the East Coast. I mean, further east than I am. And I'm going to start my little haul today with Dollarama. I didn't get much. I went in for a couple of things and I came out with those things. So I picked up one more of these stackable bins, these bamboo storage bins. So I decided that the project that I was going to do for my coffee bar needed a one more box. This is $4.75. Got it at a different store, so there's still quite a few available out there. Love the shape, love the size. So got that to do a coffee bar project. And they had something there that they didn't have at the first store that I got the bin at. And for $5, I don't even know if you can see all this, guys. Look at how huge. Look how huge this is. So $0.25 cents more. And it is, I was going to say twice the bin. At least twice the bin. So... This one, I got two of these. And the reason I got them is because I'm, I'm constantly looking for specific things to store items in my craft room. And I picked this up because of the size. So I measured it before I left the store just to make sure the inside measurement of this is six and a quarter inches. Yes, six and a quarter inches, guys. Also, it is 12 inches long total. So I'm absolutely thrilled with this purchase and I will show you a why. I'm just gonna take the plastic off. I got two of these. When I finish craft projects, quite often I don't really have a place to store my finished items. And I've been making some postcards lately. These are the four by six. Look, is that not the perfect fit? So I'm thinking postcards. I've got notebooks that can stand up in here that I've made. This is absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I am so thrilled about the size of these. And I can put two of them on a shelf side by side. I may have to go back and get a third. But what I'm going to do is sort a bunch of stuff and put it in here first. So just let me grab... I just grabbed this little, it's just a little flip book that I made. If you'd like to see one of these. So this is really, really cute, guys. I love that I can put things like that in here. This one's a little too wide to fit this way. But gosh, if, I mean, I can stand things up in here without a top on this. So like, just look at the storage. So I think one is going to be for postcards and memory decks carts. Yeah, 
I have a collection of memory decks cards. I store ATCs and inchies and twinchies in binders, so they're taken care of. But I'm pretty sure even my large notebooks, and this is why I was thinking of getting another one, I want one for postcards and memory decks cards. Another one for smaller notebooks and things like that, but even larger notebooks. I'm just, I'm not going to grab one that I made, but journals and things like that. Even those things will fit if you stack them this way across. What an amazing way to organize some of your stuff. So I got two of these. I'm just hoping that me sharing that with you guys doesn't mean I can't find a third one when I go back to the store. But yeah, I got two. I was going in for only a specific thing and I got them. So these are five bucks a piece. They have lids. And these are the 21.1 quart or 20 liter plastic totes for five dollars. I picked up two this trip. And I think I'll probably pick up two each time I go into the Dollarama for the next little while. So the next thing that I have is actually a Timu order. This is what I got. I'm just going to show you the little bits. First, I'll take this out. So I'm going to show you these last. But I picked up some napkins. Oh my gosh. So these looked really pretty on the site. Now, I'm not sure off the top of my head how much these were, but I'll definitely link them down below. And I'll put the price just up in the right-hand corner. Look how pretty. Look how pretty. So... This one did not have a picture of the full napkin on the site, but I bought it because I, I'm, I'm just hoping, hoping, hoping there. So this, that's what the print looks like, and it's the full two panels. I get really excited when I see a print that goes across two full panels or that is a whole napkin. So imagine how much you've got of this pattern if you open this napkin up because this pattern right here where it's cut off is that little wee bit right there, which is that little wee bit right there, which means you can butt these up together and have a really long strip if you want to of this fabulous, fabulous floral piece. And I'm kind of thrilled that there's this blue. And because the florals are on the bottom, if you want to, you've got that blue all the way to the top of a jar. So, yeah, I'm talking decoupage, guys. Decoupage. Can never have enough beautiful napkins. So I got that. And I got this one. Here it is. Let me open this up. Of course, I've been just stocking right up on stickers. Oh, I got two packages of these, apparently. So I'll find the link and put it in the description box. So don't wish it easier. Wish you were better. Great things come to those who wait. These I ordered because what great stickers for in your planner. Write the future. It's time for a new adventure. I or dream big. Forget the mistakes, remember the lesson. Work hard in silence. Let your success be your noise. That's a good saying. Never. Don't waste your time. Believe you can and you will. You guys get the idea. Our love is magic. So a whole bunch of these little sayings. 
enjoy every moment. And I'm thinking that that's what these are as well. I don't know if they're exactly the same or if they just put a bunch in. You are amazing. Say less, do more. My favorite place is inside your hug. Oh, I like that. Stay strong. Keep up the good work. Everything will be okay. Love yourself. These are a little more, um, be kind to your mind. These are a little more affirmations, I think. Say something not bad, not wrong, but nice. Yeah, oh, that's cute, the um, the uh, rainbow. But yeah, make yourself proud. So these are the same type of thing. So all kinds of sayings. Because I've been using a lot of washi tape and pictures and things in my journals to decorate, what I haven't had is very much uh, verbiage, I guess. <laughs> so I got those. Of course, St. Patrick's Day is coming up. So two packs of St. Patrick's Day stickers. And oh my goodness gracious, I got them in these. I love these bags, guys. Just love them. So they open like a Ziploc bag. This package, I'll definitely link these because look at how... And beautiful these Irish lasses are. So I'm ready for March. Oh my goodness. So I got a bunch of girls for planner stickers, cards, ATCs, uh, bookmarks, things like that. And then the second package... I don't want to rip these bags because I'm going to figure out how to get these labels off of them so that I can reuse them because I still think that these would make great shaker pockets to be able to send a friend some happy mail in. So there's an orange. Oh, that's a um, that's a gold coin. I was wondering why I had an orange shamrock, but it's kind of a yellowy orange. So an orange coin, a green bow. A little girl and boy gnome. The hat. The shamrock. Ooh, a lollipop. Another little gnome. A basket. So all the green items. So stinking cute. Even a green cupcake. A pot of gold. A beer, of course. Heart. Just so stinking cute. So loving that I got some stickers for St. Patrick's Day. These are um, book corners. This was the color I wanted. So these are the kind that go, they're tiny, but they're the kind that go on the corner of your journal and you just pinch them down with a pair of pliers and you can put some protective corners onto your books. So I'm thinking my journals. I think some journals would look really cute. I've got some journals that I've made that are done that would... Um, that could use some of these because they get a little dog weird sometimes just your paper corners and then this one was just junk journal papers or maybe not junk journal papers but journal papers and it is a paper pad look how stinking amazing this is so they're thin they're absolutely wonderful, and they're not all the same. That's actually a letter. Wow. This is really wonderful. 
So size of this, I don't know if I can go through every single one, but let's, which way am I going here? I think it doesn't matter. So there's yellowies, there's kind of coffee stained, tea stained, just some aged, oh look at the color of that one, just beautiful papers and they're not, even on the back, they're not, um, they're not completely white, they're kind of a toned down color so absolutely gorgeous this and remember I'll put the price right up here so I've got those and what else did I get oh guys so I found I want to keep those I'm just trying to get rid of some of the trash I picked up a set of pillowcases So these run around $16 for a set on Timu. And if I go to the store, you can get a pillowcase maybe for that price. So I wanted, I have a gray sofa. So I wanted something that wasn't, I was looking for something that wasn't necessarily uh, a certain holiday theme. Um, these actually would look really good on my bed. Uh, just beautiful in a bedroom, too. So I, there's this floral one. And I'm going to show you. These are made out of a woven material. But it's nice. It's nice. And the other ones that I've gotten, I have washed multiple times and they wash well. And they have, like the zipper is done really well. I've only ever had one where it missed a couple stitches in a spot like this. And I just stitched it up by hand and it was fine. But it's a hidden zipper. So when they're on your pillows, you don't see them. So that beautiful floral, this gorgeous stripe, look at these colors, people, just beautiful. And then this zigzag and diamond pattern. And then, let's turn this one around, this beautiful dusty rose home sweet home. Is that not gorgeous? So for $16.99, you can't get, I think that's what I paid, but I will link them. But for, for that price, you can't find anything that gorgeous. And here's my last item. I bought a bag. If this bag is nice, I'm going to reorder it in a few different colors because I've just been looking for a bag, a travel bag, um, a summer bag. Let's get rid of some of that stuff. Okay, this doesn't make all that noise. So it's in this nice fabric pouch, which I love because I can put it back in here and stack them on the shelf in my closet for storage. It's a canvas bag. And... I think this was my, I had one item that was 80% off. I just got to choose. I, I spun. You know how you spin. And then you get an, I had all this other stuff in my cart. And I think this was my 80% off item. So I think I only paid a couple dollars for this. But it's got a pocket here, a pocket here, and a pocket here because the straps run up the sides. Same on this side. Will my laptop fit in here? It's just got a couple of nice carry straps. And then, of course, it's got the, you know, wrap it around your handles so that you can kind of keep it closed. I'm looking for something more on the lines of travel. Oh, my goodness, guys. It comes with a shoulder strap. It comes with the hooks on the ends. 
This is so well made for a canvas bag and for something on Timu. First time I've ever ordered something like this. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm planning on doing a girl trip in the late fall of 2024, October probably. And let's see, inside there's this big pouch with a smaller pouch. So great place for a, a laptop or a tablet, a place for your phone. If you carry this as a bag, I think that's just for the bottom. Yes, so it has a cardboard bottom that you can just slip in here to hold this open. And then this middle section right here will hold the way, because I carry a traveler's notebook, my notebook would fit in there. My water bottle would fit in there. Everything else will fit in there. Oh my gosh, guys. What, what a good bag. So I got it in a beige because I knew I could use the beige at any time. And yeah, so I'm, I'm thrilled with this. As travel bags, when we travel, it's just really, really nice. And even if you have this over your shoulder to carry it, you can still put your handles together. And when this opens up, that'll kind of make a top, something to keep things from sliding out. Loving it. Just loving it. So that's the last of my items. I hope you enjoyed my haul. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It doesn't cost anything and you're not obligated to do anything when you give someone's video a thumbs up. It just means that you liked it. Yeah. So also check the description box for links to these items if there's anything that you see that tickles your fancy. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do that now before you leave so you can come back and watch more and see what I'm up to. I'll see everyone in the next one. Until then, bye-bye for now, everyone. Have a wonderful day.